Well, my name is Arnon Kartmazov and I own and run a, a blacksmithing shop in Portland, Oregon called Bridgetown Forge. For me, blacksmithing is uh, pure joy. Uh, there's something about working with hot steel, the immediacy of it, the intimacy, if you wish. Uh, there's something about the, uh, you know, the visceral experience of uh, planning something and just make it happen, uh, maybe sometimes in minutes. Uh, you know, the fluidity of the material, uh, and of course the fact that I get to play with fire. I ran into uh, the last surviving blacksmith in uh, Jerusalem and I spent about a year uh, studying with him on and off. I was a student at the time. And then I left for Japan. I went as an exchange student, thought I'd stay only for a year studying Japanese. Uh, but one thing led to another and actually I ended up staying there for 12 years. Uh, first as a student, then I worked as a linguist, then I got apprenticed to a blacksmith, then to another blacksmith, and before I knew what was going on, you know, 12 years went by. Now, most things that I make are chef's knives. Uh, all of them, of course, are heavily influenced by Japanese uh, design uh, sensibilities because of all the years I spent there studying and just living. Uh, people always say, oh, you know, the old masters, they want to keep their secrets. I never encountered anything like that. Everybody was very open. Uh, people sh share their shop, their time, uh, their techniques, their materials. Uh, people were incredibly generous, very welcoming, uh, had a tremendous sense of humor. Uh, there was a great deal of camaraderie. When I'm forging the knife, I'm thinking of nothing when actually forging it. I just observe and react, observe and react. Having said that, uh, you know, you have to be able to visualize very clearly who is going to be using this knife and how. Does it feel well? Does it flow well? At the same time, at the back of your mind, you also have to keep in mind the metallurgy of these things. You should not overheat your knife. You shouldn't forge it when it's too cold. All of these things. My knives are geared for performance. Uh, of course, uh, you know, appearance is also very important, aesthetic pleasure. But if a knife is a, uh, performs well, it probably will look good. Uh, so the appearance of my knives is dictated by their performance. I leave the forge marks on non-essential parts of the blade uh, because I'd like the customer to see that unique pattern. It's unrepeatable. Each knife is a little different. So, you know, they can see where my hand actually touched. The stamp that I put on my uh, knives, it's, all, it's, all, it's the same stamp for every knife that I make, and it's a chrysanthemum. And that's like a little homage to my uh, years in Japan, because chrysanthemum is a very Japanese uh, symbol. So it's a little nod uh, to all these years I spent there and to all these people. Uh, who taught me everything I know about knife making.